Hi, we're here with Seema Dahlheimer, Senior Lecturer and Assistant Director of the Engineering Communications Center. Do you mind if we hang out and ask you a few questions? Come on in, I'd be happy to chat. Thanks. We're kicking off Women's History Month. Is there a woman scientist who inspires you and why? One of them is Katherine Johnson, who um, did a lot of the calculations for NASA for the space program. I think it's so interesting that um, she was so good at what she did that they used her to double check the computers to make sure that they were doing their math correctly. And then the mathematician, uh, Miriam Mirza Kani, who was the first woman to win the Fields Medal, which is like the highest prize in math. Answer. This faculty member and WashU alum has appeared on a number of game shows, including Jeopardy. Who is Seema Dahlheimer? <laughs> What's the most memorable part of your experience on a game show? I think one of the most memorable things, and this is this is going to sound cheesy, but it's actually the friends that I've made through this. Um, the people I met, my fellow contestants, and then also the sort of Facebook groups and the whole uh, Jeopardy and Chase alum communities, which I didn't even know existed. Mayim Bialik or Ken Jennings? Ken Jennings. Where did you get your undergraduate degree? Here at Wash U. Uh, so I am class of 2002 uh, from the College of Arts and Sciences. I majored in English literature and secondary education with a minor in writing. So I studied writing. Between your years as a student and a faculty member, you have spent over 20 years here at Wash U. What is so special about this place that has kept you coming back for so long? It is. Um, it's wonderful, it's welcoming, it very much feels like home. You know, the place you go to college feels like home in a lot of ways, but it's been really interesting to see the ways it's evolved. And I love Wash U students. Like the students keep me excited to come to work every day. I love going to class. Um, so, you know, why would you ever leave a job that you love? What's the last song you listen to on repeat? On repeat? Ooh, I've been listening to a lot of Soundgarden lately because I'm old. Uh, <laughs> is there a mentor or teacher who played an important role in your education and how did that impact your decision to pursue teaching the one who really comes to mind is a wash U. Um, he was a wash U professor um, an adjunct professor in university college named bob Earlywine. he taught creative writing uh fiction and you know it just felt like he was inviting you into hit the writing community of st louis as opposed to just particular skills in a vacuum <laughs> last really good movie that you watched? Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan. What is your hometown? Right here in St. Louis, Missouri. Was there a specific moment or series of moments that inspired you to teach engineering? Um, so a lot of the way I ended up in engineering is a little bit circuitous. I was teaching writing, I was running writing uh, tutoring programs here um, at WashU. And uh, I, met the, I met the people who teach technical writing here. And we got to talking, and it sounded really interesting to me, and they were looking to hire. And so I would say I kind of fell into teaching in the engineering school. I've always loved writing and teaching writing. And uh, it's been such a good fit. I've been here 15 years now. If you weren't an educator, what would you be? I'd be a writer. I would write fiction. What's the best advice someone has ever given you? I would say I, I always come back to my mom. My mom was an amazing, amazing person. And, uh, and her advice and the way that she lived her life was to love unconditionally. What would the title of your memoir be? Ooh, I think it might be Curiosity. What was your first job? This is funny. So my first job is at a, a place that doesn't exist anymore. Blockbuster Video. I worked at a video store with VHS tapes. What does representation in the science community mean to you? I think representation is really important in a lot of ways, especially for younger children to be able to see models of, of themselves that look like them. There's something really special for me if I have an Indian professor. Why is Women's History Month important to you and why should it be important to everyone? So, um, so I think as we think about um, equity, we think about gender equity and Women's History Month, really learning and learning about and celebrating women is important um, as part of the human story. Well, that's all of our questions. Thanks for letting us hang out with you today. Oh my gosh, thank you for coming.